All right, you live. Well, let me know when I have people in. Got a couple of people coming in. All right, I'll give it a few minutes and let the numbers get up there. All right, you're good. How many people do I have? Uh, 68. All right. Well, hello, guys. It's Becky with the Chevy Shack. And tonight we are making a birdhouse from a coffee pot. This is one of the ones you can set on a campfire or on a gas stove and it percolates. We're going to take the center mechanism out and drill some holes. Voila, we have a birdhouse. Craft done. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to decorate it. Alan's already cut my hole. Made the hole for me to put the little perch in. We're going to decorate it up and finish this baby up. Okay, all the women said hello. And to decorate it, I'm going to use markers. Some of y'all are going to ask, is this for outside or inside? Um, if you glued this lid in place and sealed the little holes inside for the water, you could use this for outside. I'm not doing all that because I'm going to use this one inside. It's just going to sit up on top of my cabinet for a cute little decorative item. So, we're going to put some little flowers and stuff on it. Okay, Miss Terry Sue sent you your first stars. Thank you, Terry. All the women said, hello. Hello. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to draw some little flowers on it. And I sprayed this with Rust-Oleum 2X because it was all silver. The silver um that color over there. What does that say? It's spring green is what I use from Rust-Oleum. Miss Rose had finally got her porch painted. Yay! I still gotta paint mine. Mine needs a fresh coat. It's pressure washed. Just gotta get the paint. Yeah, it got pressure washed, but it hasn't been painted. It needs a fresh coat of paint because it's kind of raunchy. Terry Abney said, Where did you get your teapot? My mother in law bought this at Walmart. They bought it to have for like when the power went out because they had a gas stove. <coughs> <coughs> and I don't think she used it, but maybe once or <coughs> twice. But I do know that she did use it because I can see the coffee stains inside the little percolator. But we'll save this piece for something. Even though I had it on backwards. <laughs> we'll save this piece and use it for something. Okay, Miss Kathy sent you some stars. Thank you, Kathy. Miss Melissa sent you some stars. Thank you, Melissa. <coughs> that drink went down the wrong way. And I am using my paint markers to do my little flowers with and I hope the white will go on this to make some little daisies Ugh, my white has a black on it how'd that happen now if I knew that I give you three or four of them didn't I yeah oh 
<laughs> you got it going then. I got it going then, didn't I? Yeah, you did. Loud. Uh, Fawn said, what brand is your markers? My markers are, what do you, how do you say that? Eroic. Eroic. Eroic oil based paint pen. But I'm not liking this white one too much. Yeah, the white one. I may just, have to drag out some white paint. The white one is just one I had to mark on uh, metal and concrete. It's not a craft marker there. Um, Miss Debbie sent you some stars. Okay, I gotta drag out white paint. Thank you, Debbie. I've gotta drag out white paint to do my daisies with because I'm not liking that white marker. I can just drop a drop here on the paper. Yeah. Uh, did you cut the hole? Yeah, we cut. The, I cut the hole out, uh, Alma. Yes, he took the uh, drill and saw to it. I just drilled a big hole and then stuck my metal uh, jigsaw blade in it and made the circle. Uh, yeah, the paint pens came from uh, Amazon, Miss uh, Olivia. Thank you, Alma. I think I need to order me another set because some of my favorite ones are have run out. They last a long time, don't they? Yeah. I've I've had those for a year. Yeah. Alma said that's a pretty color green. Yeah, I love it. Uh, Miss Fawn sent you some stars. Thank you, Fawn. Uh, Vicky, hello. Hope your numbers are up. I seem to be able to catch you live at eight. She loves the crafts you make, and she likes the picture you posted of your favorites. Oh, thank you. Let's be talking about the ones you did out in the yard. Yes. Uh, Karen, the hole is pretty smooth because I used a file and filed down the edges and all so it wouldn't be sharp. You can actually run your fingers across it. Miss Connie said, love watching you. Thank you. Miss Sheila says she likes that blue uh, chandelier you got hanging. Oh, thank you. Yes, I love that. It lights up that whole little arbor thing, don't it? Mm-hmm. Where the grapevines are. Oh, Karen said you paint very pretty. I don't feel like I do. <laughs> I feel like um, since I've gotten arthritis that my hands aren't as steady anymore. Ooh, Teresa said you look good in green. 
Ordinarily, I would agree with that, but I haven't gotten a tan this year. She thinks she's white as a ghost. Michelle's gotten her tan going on. Uh, Caroline, on the pot itself, she used uh, Rust-Oleum 2X, and... She's just using uh, paint markers and craft paint. Yeah, I'm using rest. craft paint and my paint markers to do the rest. I'm going to put some little daisies around it and then figure out from there what else I want to put on it. Kathy says she loves birdhouses display in and out. Inside and outside. Yeah, I thought this one would look really cute sitting up on top of the cabinet. If we put it on our little fence outside, the birds, they'd love it, wouldn't they? They'd yeah, the birdhouses that he built that's on our fence. They love them. They all have bird nests in them right now. I see birds going in and out of them all day long. Uh, Karen, no, she didn't glue the lid down, but like she was saying, if she used it outside, she would glue the lid down, seal it, and seal the little hole right there. <coughs> this is just, I thought would just be a cute little idea for like an interior decoration if anybody wanted to make one. Well, it's not anything hard to make. Yeah, my mom moved down south, South Georgia, and Becky kept that. It's been up under our kitchen sink for, what, six months? Probably. No, a year. Because she moved a little over a year ago. And she figured it'd be prettier sitting up on a shelf or something than just sitting under the sink. We don't drink coffee. We don't, but Michelle does. But yeah. she, Michelle would never use this pot. She wouldn't know how, would she? Mm, nope. Miss Rebecca said, How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you for asking. I really don't know what else I want to put on here with the flowers. It's been a pretty peaceful day. Just gives everybody ideas of what they can use. I seen one that had uh, napkins mod podged onto it that was, oh, it was so pretty. Oh, yeah. Miss Sheila said you can add a bee or a ladybug to it. And Miss Debbie asked about the same thing. But that would be cute. Butterflies would be pretty. Debbie, my morning wake me up drink is Dr. Pepper and Becky's is Sprite. Neither one. Becky drink coffee every now and then, but not very often. But I don't drink it at all. <coughs> Ooh, somebody got a good idea. Uh, Kayla, cut some fake flowers and stick them in the spout. Oh, that would be cute. 
paint you could paint the little bees and uh, ladybugs and all that on it. Y'all know what would be here? Some of the little battery operated uh, lights, like just pouring out the little spout. That might would be cute. Hey, James. She's working on a little coffee pot birdhouse. Uh, Miss Tammy sent you some stars. Thank you, Tammy. Alice said if you could paint little birds on it, that'd be cute. Now, I did a uh, red cardinal on a sled that he made. I don't know if I could do it on this little pot. No, because that was big. <coughs> Karen said put some little daisies in the spout. Oh, yeah. I wonder if I have some little daisies. I don't know. Do you ain't got none, like, out? Oh, yeah, Darlene got a good idea. If you was using it outside, you could put like a dish on the bottom of it for the bird bird feed. They'd have a house and food. Okay, what would be really cute is you know how you've seen the cup spilling <coughs> tilted over spilling onto the saucer. Saucer. If you had a cup on a saucer and somehow had this Propped up on a post. Propped up, pouring over to the cup. Yeah, you'd have to have back. And yeah, you'd, you'd have there. like have bird feed in the cup, and yeah. this would be the little bird house. That would be really cute. But I'm not sure how I would do that. Ooh, Donna got a good idea. Paint light lightning bugs on it and drill little holes where the lightning bugs are, put little solar lights on them. I mean the little what, what Oh them, that would be here. What's some little lights you get? Tea lights. Put a little tea light in there. One of the little timed ones. So that it cuts on and cuts itself off. I like Jackie's idea. Just let, put it on the stove when you're not using your stove. Sheila says, you're clever. Ideas just come quick to you. And she sees something and she's like, what can I do with it? They don't always come to me. I tell you, you can get some brain fog and some block. Especially when you're trying to come up with so many. This one came to me when he pulled it out from underneath the scene. Uh, no, James. She hasn't made any butterflies on a live yet. Not that I remember. No. Uh, Bonetta says she makes these all the time and sells them. Oh, wow. You, you make the birdhouse out of the coffee pot? Coffee pot. Hello, Miss Angelique. Hey, Shalon. Give me, if you uh, make them all the time, give me some ideas. What all do you put on them? Thank you. 
Are you all right over there? Yeah, I, I was working on that golf cart today, and either an ant bit me or a chigger bit me. And it's got the back of my leg itching. You didn't know what I was doing, did you? You know what you were doing. Remember I was standing at the edge of the patio? Mm-hmm. Darlene says she'd been a spoon for the perch. That'd be a good idea. Uh, Belinda, she got the pot. It was my mom's uh, pot. When she moved, she left it behind and Becky grabbed it up. No, she didn't leave it behind. She gave it to me. Oh, she gave it to you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, Miss Pat. Um, but it came from Walmart. She spent like, she told me that she spent like $15 for it. So it's not, it's not an antique one? No. She told me a couple of years ago, so I don't know. Take that with a grain of salt. I didn't even know we had it, to be honest. <coughs> I probably moved it when I was changing your uh, kitchen faucet and didn't even see that. Granny says she likes seeing all the cute things you make for out, outdoors. Hello, Diane. Hey, Stacy. I love, love, love those um, little chickens and owls and the little bird feeders, the ladybug and that, the bumblebee. They look so cute hanging up out there. And hey, Miss Patty. She said that's looking so adorable. Thank you. I know we gotta put some grass around the bottom of it. Yes, sir. That's exactly what it is, I believe. A camp camp coffee pot. Hello, Miss Pam. Uh Alma, she's gonna put this one inside. Yeah, this one's gonna sit up on top of that cabinet that I did. It would look good outside when it, after it gets all rusty, you know? Yeah. Uh, Mima said, how about ivy, ladybugs, and bees? I'm trying to figure out how to, like, do grass, and I hope I'm not messing it up. Miss Patty said, hello, Becky. Hello, Patty. Miss Diane and Pam sent you some stars. Thank you, ladies. Guys, I think I'm messing it up. What you doing? Let me see. You're trying to draw grass. I am not an artist. You can't do grass. Doesn't help if there's something stuck to the tip of my marker. All right. I'm not worth a toot at this, but I'm just going with it. <laughs> ain't worth a toot. I ain't worth a plug nickel at it. <laughs> Sarah said, Bob Ross said, no mistakes, just happy accidents. I need Bob Ross here to do this for me. Either that or what's that other lady's name? Uh, that teaches how to paint roses and all? I don't know. I can't think of her name. I should have paid more attention in art class. 
because my grass looks like excess. Nah, it's okay. I can see it from here. Uh, um, is it Paula Dewberry or Nancy Dewberry? Or Deb Deborah Dewberry? I don't know, but I think it's Dewberry, yeah. It ain't Becky Hare, that's for sure. <laughs> Not Becky Dewberry. <laughs> oh my word. I thought it was Nancy Dewberry. But I mean, you could be right, Sarah. I swear to y'all, I used to be so much better at this one. I took art in high school. But I guess that could have been because I had a teacher right there helping me out. Oh, it's Donna. I said Debbie. I was close. <laughs> uh, Miss Shirley said, what are we making? And she sent you some stars. Shirley, I am trying to paint a coffee pot. I'm trying to do little blades of grass on it, but they don't look so hot. And we made a little bird house out of it. Cut a little hole and all that. Uh, Rebecca said, don't forget to paint a sun on it. A little sunshine. Miss Shirley said, adorable. Angelique said, it's turning out cute. Uh, hello, Barb. Vicky said, you're doing great. Oh, Miss Peggy froze. You might have to go out and come back in, sweetheart. Oh, she said, now it's okay. We don't want you to be froze. There you go. Now you can see the hole. Sarah said, "Lady B, lady, lady bees, ladybugs and bumblebees, butter, Rebecca said butterflies." Just whatever your little heart desires. Uh, Dean, uh, Carla said, "Glue some jute around the hole." That'd be cute. Good evening, Becky. Uh. No, Nancy, it's not going to go outside for actual birds. And I filed the edges down, so it's not sharp. The edges are dull. I mean, I... They, they look raggedy, but they're dull. He, yeah, he I, did file them. I filed them, and I run my finger around it and make sure it was not sharp. Diane said dragonflies. Inchworm. Ooh, a dragonfly. I love dragonflies. You bought something the other day with dragonflies on it. Didn't you buy like some stickers or something with dragonflies? I don't remember what it was. What did I get that had dragonflies on it? I don't know. You remember? Now you got me wondering. <laughs> I don't remember what it was. sun on one side and the moon on the other. Well, you've got plenty of ideas now. Okay. Miss Sheila said, your daisies are sweet. Hello, Christina. Diane says she likes dragonflies too. Uh, Kimberly, she's got a little cabinet she redid. She's going to put it on top of it, I think. I'm going in and putting some lighter green on it for some of the grass. I think somebody mentioned that. I'm 
thinking it was, oh gosh, who was it? Fine. I think Fine said that. I'm not sure. Patty said you did go with the grass. Uh, James said yellow and brown on the grass too. So you got the right idea. Kathy Kramer, uh, we always send stuff out by regular mail. Some yellow dandelions. Was Kathy the first or second set that went out? Do you remember? Kathy's the first set. Okay, yours should... Her should be there early week. Yeah, yours should be there... Well, I don't know. I'm not a mailman, but... They used to take three to five days unless they're running slow. I think everybody knows that the post office has been slower than Christmas recently. Since um, back around the election. Everything just... Yeah, we slowed down. Now, now the second orders we had was supposed to have went out Thursday or Friday, but we didn't get to the post office, so we gotta go Monday. But, hers is in the first orders. If hers is in the first, you should be getting yours any day. She should have hers first of sometime the first of the week. Hello, Miss Sandra. Miss Becky sent you some stars and Jude said hello. Y'all this looks like my yard. My grass gets high, and it's full of uh, wild daisies and dandelions. And then it rains, and they all shut. You can look across the field, and they're all shut. And then when the sun comes out, they all open back up. Thank you, Becky. <laughs> Kimberly said dandelions are flowers. Her little grandson said so. That's right. <laughs> Hello, Rosalind. Hey, Connie. Miss Peggy said, looks great. And Kathy said, thanks. She can't wait to get it. Yeah, we got ours outside, ready to get all rusty. I don't It'll know. take a bit before he gets all rusty, though, because... he got so much paint on him. Yeah. Okay. Dragonfly. wonder what... Uh, I'm dropping my markers. Thank you, Miss Kathy, for spreading the love. What blue shall I use? Uh, Janet, the pot came from Walmart originally. I think somebody said they're in the camping section. <clears throat> what you looking for? Anything I can help you with? I want... Hand me those, that basket of permanent markers. Basket of permanent markers. Uh, First one, second shelf to the right. Says markers and pens? Says markers and pens. That was pretty easy to find. See if I have a fine tip black one in here. I think it's in the house. My fine tip. Because I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be uh, putting clear coat on this since I'm using some craft paint. So. What you doing with the black? Going back, putting little lines in my leaves. Uh, just adding a little to it. Yep.
Yep, it's not a silver pot anymore, is it? Okay. Think up here. This where a tiny little dragonfly is going to be. Her kind of says she's got a granite pot she could use. I guess she's talking about the white ones with the little black flakes. Alma said draw you a butterfly on it too. Uh, Miss Sandy sent you some stars and James said looking good. Thank you. I don't know, somebody pinned the mad face twice on the thing, but If they pin the mad face, I hope it cost them something. Why would you pin a mad face? That's stupid, ain't it? Ain't nobody forcing you to be here. That's, I mean, that's just ridiculous. If you pin the mad face, pin one more, because we like odd numbers. If it was an accident, okay. I don't want to be ugly with anybody. I don't want to be ugly with anybody. Durf. Said something about Durf. I don't know who Durf is. I had not seen a Durf in here. That's alright. They can be mad, but they was watching, wasn't they? I mean, like, we don't know where they man. Yeah. We don't know the situation. Okay, there's my teeny tiny little dragonfly. Alright, now let's figure out a little bitty butterfly. There's your lid before it dries out. Still gonna be using now. Right. Maybe a purple and pink butterfly. <laughs> you got all the colors out, haven't you? The colors of the rainbow. <laughs> Shake it up. I'm trying. But then a song by the cars? Shake it yep. up. Yes, it was. Miss Nina says she's from Kansas and your craft is beautiful. Thank you. Sandy said, you're a good drawer. I wish. I think I was better back before arthritis kicked in. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure you ladies know. Um, when your hands won't do what you want them to. Uh, Janet, if we was putting it outside, yeah, we would put holes in the bottom. But it's just going to go up on her... Uh, it's just going to go up on my shelf as decoration. Patty said, a ladybug on one side of the spout and a bee on the other side. Uh, a ladybug I can do. I can draw one. Uh, Let's do a, a ladybug down here on the uh, uh, grass somewhere. Jean says she's from Texas. Your crafts are original and beautiful. Thank you. 
Ooh, I almost said if you had a little fake bird, you could put on the perch. You got them little red ones, don't you? Yeah. Little cardinals. Oh, uh, Tommy said you remind her of her sister. She was talented like you. Thank you. Thank you. Granny said a ladybug climbing up the stem of the flower. Well, I kind of got to let the red paint dry some. It doesn't want to let me draw on it. That's where my little ladybug's going to be as, as soon as it dries a little. I think on the back side, we'll do a little B. And I'm not... Connie, she has a shop on her page. You just got to go to the Shabby Shack and you'll see the uh, link to it. I'm not sure what all she's got in there right now, but... Most of her stuff is under Shabby Shack Originals. There's different categories. Well, hello, Debbie. Right now, the hot item is the roosters and the tree faces. Oh, uh, Tommy's so sweet. She said, thank you both. You bring joy, and it seems like it comes so easy. Thank you. Yeah, we just be ourselves. I don't think my little bee looks so great. But I, I will show him to you guys in just a second. Uh. <laughs> we got a Debbie Caldwell and a... Uh, Renee Caldwell as her maiden name. <laughs> Where did I... Uh, no, Kimberly, if you go to the Shabby Shack page, it, there's a Shop Now button. You click that, and then the category is Shabby Shack Originals. I made my bee look like he's flying straight. I don't know why I just did that. Where at? It's like a rocket. He's going straight up. Okay. We need to give him a little. Uh, Norma, them are uh, heroic oil-based paint pens from Amazon. Miss <laughs> Peggy said you're telling that she can't draw a stick man. There we go. I gave him a little trail. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Peggy. She draws pretty good stick men herself. I had to give him a trail so we would know where he'd been. <laughs> Renee said she can't paint for him. It'd be all jacked up. Girl, mine is. Granny said, you ever do anything and then a year later look at it and say, what the heck was I thinking? I think we all have done that. <laughs> Fawn said it's a yellow jacket. No, no problem. I've, I have done crafts at the time and thought, they, oh, that's so cute. A year later, look at it and be like, why? I don't even like that. Why did I do that? <laughs> You'd be surprised how many things I've kicked across the yard. <laughs> Seemed like a good idea at the time, you know? <laughs> like, we're fixing to start a pallet fence. I don't know why, but we're going to do it. <laughs> in, a couple of year, in a couple of years, I'll probably be ramming it with my lawnmower. 
taking it down, talking about why did we build this junky fence? <laughs> Hello, Pauline. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> Look at my little bee. <laughs> <laughs> Debbie said she just painted another one beside it or somewhere else going down. <laughs> Maybe I should have one zooming off to the. Let's see. Miss Carol said hello, Mama. Hey, Carol. <laughs> Oh, Lord, help me. I, nah. am, I am not an artist. No, Sheila, I wouldn't build them a, a tree for it because no. then I would have to uh, be responsible for their injuries. Who, the kids? Yeah, the grandkids. Yeah. We, we live out in the country, and if anything happened to them, it could take a minute for an ambulance or something to get here. So we don't we don't even like the idea of things like that. Uh, yeah, Miss Carol, she did. That's what she's been playing with. She asked, did you do the painting on the pot? Karen said, this is durable. Did you used to roll paint years ago? Oh, yeah. If you mean painting houses? Yeah. Oh, I will, Alma. Teresa, I think they say you can get them at the Walmart in the camping section. This one came from my mom, but I think that's where she got it from. Yeah, I'm sure that's where she got it. She oh, told me she got it from Walmart. Karen said toll paint. I don't know what that is. Oh, I don't I don't have a clue. What are you looking for? <sighs> my marker that look. You put the red on Yeah. Red on the orange. Yeah, I'm losing it. Uh hello, Laura. I got the hiccups. Hello, Karen. Oh, I forgot to give this little bee some antennas. And Miss Jeanette from Florida. Sue said, hey, this is really pretty. Thank you. Oh, Patty, you better keep a check on that young lady. Should we call these uh, bees or lightning bugs? <laughs> like my butterfly. Ain't even gonna lie. Let me see him. I don't like him. I didn't see him. Hello, Deborah. Carol said fireflies. Yeah, that's what we was talking about, lightning bug. Y'all call them fireflies. We call them lightning bugs. Put some lightning bugs on it, drill some holes, put a candle in it so they light up. And hello, Connie. Uh, Kathy, no, I think she's gonna put it on top of a cabinet. It's not gonna hang outside. I mean, you could, you know, fix it to where it could be outside and actually be used. I think if we attract any more birds in our yard, ain't nobody else going to have any. 
Let me tell y'all something. <laughs> and this ain't no lie. We put these bird houses out and put all these bird feeders out and we've been feeding them birds. I have a black car. He has a black truck. And them birds have crapped all over our vehicles. And I'm going to tell you what. They go to the front doors. And look at their Driver and passenger. Sit and look at themselves in the tinted windows. And down our doors is just lines of bird crap. I, before My I, car and his truck. Before I go anywhere, I have to wash it all off. Because I'm not going to go through town. A nice truck with bird poop all over it. We're feeding them and they're crapping all over our vehicles. Uh, Alma, yeah, we see lightning bugs all the time out here. We was watching them last night. Okay, we got to put the little perch in and paint it. Uh, Diane, them are uh, heroic oil-based paint pens from Amazon. Yeah, I cut that hole kind of tight. I didn't know if I needed to sand that little dowel down or not. I'll get it in there. I figure you will. If it's tight, it just means I ain't got to put no glue on it. No, you ain't going to have to glue it. I wish the hole had been more centered, but it is what it is. That stuff's hard to cut through. I'm gonna do this the light green. <laughs> Carol said, well, cut the welfare off the birds. What goes in must come out. Right. But yeah, they look at themselves in in our tinted windows. I think we sit and watch them do it. I keep a. Uh, uh, and it's like I just fed you. Can't you go poop somewhere else? <laughs> I keep a microfiber towel and Windex and some uh, APC in the back of my truck just for them. The funny part is though, when that bird pooped on me, you said it was good luck. <laughs> well, it's good. they say it's good luck if a bird poops on you, but they didn't say that about my car. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. That's what they are. Little blue cardinals. And little wrens. Yeah, we watched we, we just watch them do it. They look at us like, yeah, I'm fixing to do it. What you going to do about it? We give them a house and food, and they're crapping on our cars. <laughs> Carol said they're giving back. <laughs> they are. Oh, they no doubt giving back. I mean, but we love watching them. They're so, they're so pretty. I don't like watching them poop on my car. I've got one that comes but out. But we love watching them fly around the fence and... Flying into the birdhouses. I got, I got one blue cardinal that comes to my bedroom window almost every morning around seven, between seven and eight. And pecks on that thing for about an hour. Because we've got tent on our house windows because the side that faces the sun, we've got tent on the front windows. And I guess he's looking at himself and He'll sit there and peck and flap his wings up against the glass for hours. <laughs> uh, Michelle, hold that pin box up close so they can see the name brand. Oh, Jeanette was coming through Georgia, going to Florida from Pennsylvania. I'm assuming you came down 85. Uh, well, it's about 40, 40 minutes uh, from your drive through Uh, yeah, Karen, I drilled a small hole for the dowel. Thank you, Diane. 
Peggy, Peggy Johnson said they're making a deposit on the car to buy it. Right. Oh my gosh, that means they better, they better get with it. Well, the bad thing is, y'all, um, tried putting the car under the carport to see if they wouldn't go underneath there and do it. They went under the carport and did it. <laughs> I mean, I would never dream of hurting the, hurting the birds because, you know, we put the feeders out there for them, but. Read what Debbie wrote. Read it out loud. <laughs> Becky, listen. What? Debbie wrote, Birdie, Birdie in the sky. Why'd you do that in my eye? Me, no baby, me won't cry. Me, just glad elephants don't fly. <laughs> <I hate that>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jeanette says she told her husband, My favorite craft lady lives in this state. You were probably so close. Yep. Well, like I said, if she come down Interstate 85 from Pennsylvania, going to Florida, she was 40 minutes from us when she passed the Atlanta airport. Oh man, if I put the sun on it now, it's going to look like the butterfly and the... The bees flying to the sun? Yeah. Okay, don't get no sun then. I put sun... It's getting a sun. It's going to get a sun. Uh, Fawn, get you some of them uh, carpenter bee traps like I've got. Hang them up. The carpenter bees will go away. They'll fly, they'll crawl up in it thinking it's their hole, and they'll die. And then silicone, all the holes they made in your porch, and the woodpeckers will go away because they, they won't smell the larvae anymore. I've got a video up of uh, the little bird, the little bee traps. A little block of wood with a uh, water bottle. Okay, my son doesn't look good. I need to go back to art school. Maybe you need to redo it. Peggy says she's got a blue jay that comes to her window uh, wanting peanuts before the squirrels get them. Aww. She just squirrel jacket. <laughs> Your sister Irene's watching. Well, that was supposed to be a son. Let me see. You just hold your tater. She I gotta fix that. She messed that son all up. I can tell by her face, facial expression. She looked like she want to laugh at you. You hold your tater. Oh, that's so funny to me. Jeanette. If you've got some in the other ones, take one B out and put it in the empty ones because something, the pheromone they put out attracts other ones to make them think it's their hole. But the empty ones take so long before one finally will crawl up in it. I'm just ashamed of that. Yeah, fine. T tell your okay, if you don't look at it straight on this, okay. Fine, tell your husband it don't take 15 minutes and he can make one. If you don't look at it straight on this, okay. Okay, I'm looking at it straight on, you're like, ugh. Uh, I'm looking at it sideways so it looks good. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kimberly, our chipmunks don't, they stay the heck away from our house because our cats will. Our cats love chipmunks. Okay, y'all are probably better painters and artists than I am. If I mean, if you are, this is a cute little idea. Carol said it's adorable. You did a good job. All the ladies did. I think it's good. I mean, I can't paint. I don't even attempt to paint nothing. Okay, I gotta cover that back up. That didn't work. What? I wanted to put lines in my flower petals, but it didn't work.
it's okay. We can cover that back up. And Alma said, don't forget your little fake bird when you put it in the house. Oh, yeah. Carol says she didn't know you could paint that good. You ought to do more painting with detail. I think it, I'll be honest, I think it looks good. I can't paint. That's 50 times better than what I can do. I'm better at, um, like, doing the cutouts for him. Drawing the shapes for the cutouts. And I'm pretty good at that. I know when I was little, the comic books had a thing in it. You paint and send it, send it to them, and, and they sponsor you. But you know you got to pay them. They sent me. I sent them a picture. They sent me a letter. Said, "Don't never send me another picture." <laughs> oh, you're so silly. They didn't even want my money. <laughs> you're so silly. I'm so Probably silly. Good. You're so silly. Silly, Willie. Yeah, I think it turned out good. Like I said, I can't paint at all. Y'all say me paint, y'all, there'd be so many laughy faces popping up on this screen instead of hearts. <laughs> You'd be sharing just so other your friends could see this fool trying to draw. What in the world is that? Oh, that's a ladybug hunter drew in it. He colored it, didn't he? I was looking at it like, what is that? Hello, Judy. Did you ever find my quarter inch bit over there, Michelle? No. Okay. Uh, Sheila, yes ma'am, we are. Luther's, Luthersville, Georgia. As my grandson says, Loserville. <laughs> I asked Hunter, where we live at, Hunter? Loserville. I'm just going back, darkening up these white petals. Uh, Becky, my mom gave her that. She, I think she says she got it from Walmart. Yeah, his mom and dad had bought it at Walmart um, for when the power went out. They could still have coffee. Uh, somebody on here said something about it's like a camping one, and it it really is. Oh, Sheila lives down there with Pooh in Hoganville. Oh, oh wow! Pooh, now Pooh lives in Grantville. Yeah, Pooh's in Grantville. I keep thinking he's Hoganville. You know, they're right beside each other. Well, Sheila, you're our neighbor. You're ten minutes from us, probably. Um, but anyways, his his mom and dad bought it at Walmart for when the power went out because they have a gas stove and they had to have their coffee. Um, what did I do with that thing? Uh, hello, Patsy. It had the center percolator piece in it. But she paid like $15 for it is what she told me. But I thought it would be really cute and whimsical to just make like a little birdhouse out of it. You could make an actual birdhouse out of one. 
but this one I'm just painting it up and it's going to set up on the shelf in my living room it's not going to be used for an actual birdhouse but it is it is cute like one I like it I think it turned out alright Patty said Hunter cracks her up with his jokes he does Patty he does that like if we go to a Dollar Tree or and we'll Somewhere, go, he's cracking jokes to he'll, people. He'll tell the people stocking the shelves jokes. Okay, you better end your live pretty pretty soon. Okay, my phone battery's dying. Her phone said... Um, I appreciate you out. guys hanging out with me. It was This was just a quick little craft, little idea for you guys. If you have one of these pots that maybe you don't use anymore. We enjoyed the conversation, the hangout. Yep. We love you guys. Stay safe. And I may be on tomorrow night. I'll post ahead of time and let you guys know. Bye, y'all.